Hello, I am Jonas and welcome to another course from VHDLWiz. This time we will add Bluetooth connectivity to our FPJ design. Alright, now that we have an understanding about how the PMOD Bluetooth module is supposed to work, we are going to try to establish the first communication with the chip. I'm going to plug in the PMOD Bluetooth module into the JD header. Go to the settings, devices. It's going to be on Bluetooth LE for low energy and there is the name that we configured. VW gadget, right? Select it like that. Now it's connecting. We see something on the screen. We see something on the screen of the phone. BLE underscore control is going to be the name dot VHD. It stands for Bluetooth low energy control module. And we're going to use the VHDL snippet to create the outline BLE underscore control like that. We are going to keep the clock and reset and a bunch of signals that we need to add. And which signals do we need? Well, we need to send UART data to the Bluetooth chip and receive UART data back from the Bluetooth chip. Now we're going to send each character in the string, one in each clock cycle, and the string may be of different lengths. So we have to use an enumerator, a counter. We're going to create a new counter signal to use in that procedure. Something like this, signal Char i character index that stands for integer range 1 to 31 and 1 is the first index of any string in vhdl it's not 0 it's 1 and this is just the max number of characters that we will be transmitting in any string i'm just going to set it to 31 if it's too low then we get an error in the simulation if it's too high then the extra bits will be pruned by the synthesis tool doesn't really matter with the text starting pattern match test bench, then we wait for the reset to be released. Then we use the TX string procedure, this one right here, to send the test string and stream it through the device and test. There is a needle in the haystack, and this one has the word needle, so we expect a match. It's going to take some time, perhaps a minute, to run through the entire simulation. And finally, we see simulation done. So if we look in the waveform, we can see there's a lot of stuff going on. You can follow the transactions here on the receive byte and send byte buses because I have set them to have the radix ASCII so we can see the actual text going back and forth. To enter pairing mode, we have to click this button. This button right here, that's the reset button. This is the pairing mode button. And now we see it changes to the other LED. The pairing mode indicator and that means we have 60 seconds to connect i can try to connect again now now we get something different we can enter the pin 223344 like that and we see some printouts in the yat terminal and connected here so what happens now if i click this button well look at that the red led illuminated and turn it off again green led turn it off again blue led turn it off again we can see the text we're sending here because these 